Pylades, a prince from Phocis, was renowned for the unbreakable bond he shared with his cousin Orestes, son of Agamemnon. Their friendship was so strong that they took an oath to always support each other in life and death. One day, Orestes killed his mother, Clytemnestra, and her lover to avenge his father's murder. However, he was tormented by the Furies, the goddesses of vengeance. Pylades accompanied his friend to the Temple of Apollo to seek absolution from the god. Apollo commanded Orestes to go to Taurus and bring back her sacred statue, where the goddess Artemis was worshipped. Pylades, never fearing for his own life, bravely went with Orestes to Taurus to aid him in this dangerous task. Upon reaching Taurus, the pair were captured and imprisoned by the temple's guards, led by the priestess Iphigenia, Orestes' own sister who he thought was dead. Pylades stayed by Orestes' side, and the two helped each other overcome their challenges, ultimately getting the sacred statue and escaping by boat back to Greece. Their daring escape from Taurus became a classic example of loyal friendship and devotion in the face of danger, inspiring many later tales. The bond between Pylades and Orestes was so deep that when Orestes died, myth says that Pylades died moments later, unable to bear the burden of losing his beloved friend. Orestes, the son of Agamemnon, returned to Mycenae slash Argos as an adult to avenge the murder of his father. He was aided by his friend, Pylades, who played a critical role in executing Orestes' plan of revenge. Together, they killed Orestes' mother, Clytemnestra, and her lover, Aegisthus. During the second play of Aeschylus' trilogy The Orestia, Pylades only spoke once. When Orestes began to doubt his decision to kill his mother, it was Pylades who encouraged him to complete the task. Many believe that Pylades represented divine encouragement or fate, rather than just a mere mortal. In other versions of the story, Pylades accompanied Orestes but did not speak, such as in the case of the revenge of Orestes and Electra. In Sophocles' version, Orestes pretended to be dead, and Pylades carried the urn supposedly holding his friend's remains. Additionally, according to Pausanias, Pylades also killed two sons of Nauplius who had come to aid Aegisthus. Despite being a minor character, Pylades played a crucial role in helping Orestes exact revenge and fulfilling his destiny. Pylades was a loyal friend to Orestes, even after they committed a crime together. When Pylades returned home, he was exiled by his own father for his actions. However, he didn't give up on his friend. He returned to Orestes' side, and together they attempted to murder Helen to avoid execution. When their plan failed, they took Menelaus and Helen's daughter Hermione as their hostage. Eventually, Apollo intervened and gave them instructions to follow. Pylades was instructed to marry Orestes' sister Electra to restore order to their community. These events are depicted in Euripides' play, Orestes, which continues to fascinate audiences with its twists and turns. Despite facing many challenges, Pylades remained steadfast in his loyalty to his friend. Pylades and Orestes were inseparable friends, always standing by each other's side through thick and thin. However, their loyalty was put to the test when Apollo ordered Orestes to steal the statue of Artemis from Taurus to escape the relentless pursuit of the Irenees. Unbeknownst to them, all foreigners in Taurus were sacrificed to Artemis, and they were promptly imprisoned upon their arrival. And as time passed, Orestes grew increasingly fearful of their impending doom, but Pylades was there, unwavering in his support and affection. As fate would have it, their captor was none other than Orestes' long-lost sister, Iphigenia, a devotee of the goddess Artemis. She offered to release Orestes if he delivered a letter to Greece, but Orestes, overwhelmed with emotion, refused to leave. Instead, he chose to face his impending doom head-on, comforted by Pylades' unwavering presence by his side. Pylades, however, had other plans. He agreed to take the letter on Orestes' behalf, secretly hoping to find a way to save his friend's life. And as he read the contents of the letter, he made a shocking discovery, Iphigenia was, in fact, Orestes' long-lost sister. With this newfound knowledge, Pylades hatched a daring plan. 
he sneaked into Iphigenia's chambers, revealing the truth about her brother's identity and begging for her help. And surprisingly, she agreed, leading the trio to safety and freedom with the statue of Artemis in their possession. As they finally escaped the clutches of Taurus and made their way back to Athens, Pylades and Orestes realized the true extent of their bond, a bond cemented in loyalty, love, and unwavering friendship. And even as they parted ways, they knew that they would always stand by each other's side, no matter what challenges lay ahead. Do you want to explore more Greek mythology stories? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.